Hey guys, welcome back to Medicine Deconstructed. I'm your host, Dr. Jay Rutland. If you follow me on Medicine Deconstructed, if you follow me on Instagram at Dr. Jay Rutland, you know that not only am I a huge fan of medicine, but I'm a huge fan of sneakers. Sneakers mean a lot to me. I don't know really how I got started. There is an episode in which I talked to my neighbor who may have gotten me started on my sneaker love. But what I thought I'd talk about today are the last four pairs of sneakers that I bought. One of which has a huge motivating story that continues to push me to this day. First sneaker we're gonna talk about that I most recently bought is the Off-White Air Max 90. Again, these are designed by Virgil Abloh and Nike. And what I really appreciate about this sneaker is it takes an old school sneaker and kind of upgrades the look. You can see the details in the sneaker. You can see the off-white tag, that's important. Off-white Air Max 90 Oregon USA. The contrast with the black laces, they give you several pairs of laces to be able to create that contrast or if you want the laces to blend in. It's very nice, but this is one of my favorite sneakers. I don't wear them very often, but when I do, I definitely get comments. The second pair of sneakers I most recently bought were the shattered backboards, original shattered backboards we call them, but it's an orange and white with black lace Air Jordan 1. Again, these are classics. Now, what you'll notice is in Michael Jordan's documentary recently, you, you'll know that when he played one of his games, his last games at Madison Square Garden in the Air Jordan 1, he developed a bunch of blisters and his feet were bleeding. And you're right, this isn't a shoe you're gonna play basketball in, but it's the most versatile shoe of all time. I wear the ones, and I have a lot of pairs of ones, with my suits, I wear them with my scrubs, I wear them with my jeans, I wear them all over the place, and I always get comments on the different colorways. Very important shoe, a very cool shoe. So this is another recent shoe that I purchased. This is the Off-White Air Jordan 5. Now, when you look at the Off-White Air Jordan 5 online, you think to yourself that, you know, they just look kind of regular, they're just black, Air Jordans, they're just black 90s, right? And so, they're not. They're actually much more fantastic in person than they are online. And I really appreciate the circular design here that you can see across all the shoe. And then I really like the original Nike Air in the back. What you'll notice now with the fives is the ones that come out, they just have the Jordan in the back. And as much as I love Jordan and I like the emblem, it just doesn't feel as retro without the Nike Air. And so I really appreciated that. Um, about this shoe. Um, and again, you got the lace holder here, which I have always traditionally worn on the outside of it since the fives came out, even in 1990 when I was nine years old and I had a pair. Now, this final shoe I'm gonna show you today actually has a deeper meaning to me. And the reason it has a deeper meaning to me is because these are the 13s. These are the blue 13s. And when I was a senior in high school in 1999, we wore these uh, on our basketball team. These were like our team shoe. Now, the thing about these shoes is interesting because one of the most crazy stories of my life happened when I was wearing these. So I first went to the all boy Catholic school in my area called Jesuit. And then I transferred to the boy and girl Catholic school in my area called Christian Brothers. Obviously I played basketball for both schools, but when I transferred my senior year, it's the league championship. It's like my dream game We're at Jesuit, at their house. They have a huge gym. There's a lot of people there. I don't know, maybe 3,000. I don't know how many people were there, but a lot. And I played the shittiest game of my career. It's the worst game ever. And I had like eight points, five rebounds, terrible. My mom wasn't supposed to go to the game. And I look in the stands in the middle of the first or second quarter, and my mom had come straight from the airport with her suitcase, and we lost, and I played terrible. I go up to my mom, and I'm 17 years old, right? All I'm looking for is like a hug. Like, man, you know, you get them next time because this game was loud, people were calling my name, and I just played like crap. And I go up to my mom, my mom looks dead at me in the face. And she says, you made me get on a plane early from Philadelphia and travel all this way to watch you play like that and to watch you, you lose. And I looked at her and I said, uh, she's like, don't do that again. And it's crazy because 
from that moment on, every time I need an extra piece of energy, every time I need to study a little bit longer, every time someone says something about me that I hear that isn't necessarily positive, I think about that moment and what it does is it pushes me and it pushes me to a level that I can't quite explain. So when these came out and I looked at them and I saw that they were coming out a couple of months ago, all I could think about was that moment. And I can tell you right now that that week, all I did was study. And during that week, do you wanna know what I studied? SARS coronavirus type two. Thanks for watching Medicine Deconstructed. I really appreciate you guys being here, sharing some of my love of sneakers, some of my own personal love. Uh, we're gonna continue to talk about medicine. Look forward to the next episode. Please subscribe, use the alarm button. I'll see you soon, take care.